Blue cap from Dark Musket. Delicacy back in the field. Tower of Lonro. Extra zero. Got back to last in a bunching field. 450 to run. Has a bill. The leader comes around the home turn from Real Love when they'd straightened up. Then came Woodsville. There's Blackwood making that searching run around them. And now to the outside. Pike releases the brakes. And Perfect Reflection goes up. Then Dark Musket followed by Belmont Girl. Perfect Reflection though gave them Winburn with 150 to go, she's raced away, here's Delicacy though, coming after her, Delicacy, perfect reflection, perfect reflection, Delicacy, don't know, don't know in the Kingston town, Delicacy. Bob, you haven't been able to hide the emotions down here, last year we saw a very impressive filly in Delicacy and we've just seen another perfect reflection, what an amazing finish. Yeah, she's a great uh, filly, isn't she? Uh, everyone thinks that I... Uh, was confident going in this race and putting her in, but the real reason was that the Guineas was too close to the champion fillies, and she's quite delicate still yet, so uh, I didn't want to overtax her, and uh, it, we don't get many chances to run in Group 1s. Statistics don't lie for a three-year-old filly to win this race. How high did you rate her coming into this race, and how high do you rate her now in your stable? Well, I just explained to you, I didn't rate her that high to do this. Um, I thought she's a nice filly, but she had to prove herself. And uh, if, if the Guineas had been two weeks from the champion fillies, I probably would have run her in that. William Pike was hanging off her as they approached the top of the straight. She was under such a, a tight hold. And once she let go, we saw that turn of foot. But then Delicacy just showed her why she's won so many races as well. Yeah, well, from where I sat, uh, she'd won easily. And then when I got down here, I, I couldn't believe how close the photo was. So Delicacy was obviously flying home. Obviously, all the excitement about Perfect Reflection now as well, but what about Delicacy? Peter Hall came in here and he was bawling his eyes out, so emotional after that performance as well, and it must be great seeing her put in a performance like that. Well, he loves her, and um, it's pretty hard. Well, no, I, well, sorry, one horse has won from Barrier 16, and uh, he got a run through on the rails from memory. Where to for Perfect Reflection now, Bob? Uh, the paddock. Well deserved rest. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And Bob, congratulations to you. It's uh, been a perfect result, a Quinella. Four runners, first two home, a nose margin, first filly to ever win the race. And delicacy almost becoming the first horse ever to win it from the extreme outside gate. His trainer, Puffer Williams, and what a great moment it is for Grant Williams today, saddling up a Group 1 Quinella. Grant, I bet when you're training and you, you picture the race a million times, you don't see your two horses a couple of lengths in front battling it out in a photo finish. No, nah, not at all. Uh, last year that happened with us and um, Moriarty knocked us off, so it's actually a good result this year. Bob mentioned that he just wasn't confident at all coming into this race. There was a lot of unknown about Perfect Reflection. What were your thoughts? You can, you know, anyone that's confident going into a Group One race, I reckon, is kidding himself. To be honest, you know, you, you're against a lot of very good horses. They've all been trained for this race, and um, you know, you do need a lot of luck. And uh, we didn't have barrier draws. Uh, we had the horses were were Mickey Mouse. Uh, no, we didn't have barrier draws, and then it rained. And um, yeah, it just there was uh, three really good rides on. My horses. Obviously, what she's already done makes her a champion winning this race. But as you mentioned, you haven't had that ideal preparation, skipping the 1400 and then the draw as well today. So you just almost add a little bit more onto this performance, don't you? You do. Like uh, I, I spoke to Bob before the champion fillies and said, oh, I think I've um, flattened her a bit. And um, to come through, it's really good. Well done, mate. Congratulations. A proud moment for you and well deserved. So. Cool. Holly Graham Williams is in tears as well with the emotion and everything sore. And I saw watched you come in and you couldn't hide your emotions. What are they? Explain to us how you're feeling. Oh, this horse has just done so much for me as a jockey. Two Group 1s, Interstate, doesn't get any better. And today I had a chance to win a Group 1 in WA. And as um, soon as I got on her, just the affiliation with her. And, you know, she's just special and you just get a bond with her because they just do so much for you. I mentioned earlier on in the preview that I bumped into you at the same time we arrived on course and you looked up and you said, this is delicacy weather, and gee, she ran to it. Yeah, she was fantastic. I was bolting in behind uh, the stable mate and um, thinking, do I go out, do I keep following? Uh, and I kept following the uh, perfect reflection and when I straightened up, I had her and then she put a length on me and then I had her again and then she kept just holding me the last 50. And uh, if I had... One more thing to do as a, as a jockey. How good would it be to beat Willie Pike in a photo? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody would have loved to have done that. No whip, nothing. Just <laughs> beat him by half head. Just you know? pushing the head down. But he's got me. He's the best jockey in WA. And, 
and he's awesome, and uh, God, I would have loved to nail him. <laughs> I don't blame you for that at all. One question, you've hopped on it now at this stage uh, in the campaign. Where is she at compared to where she was last year when you were riding her? Oh, she's the same horse. Like, she's awesome over this distance, 1,800, 2,000. Um, you know, um, like, she had the first up runs are in a, in a railway in a Listia. So she's not running against three-year-olds anymore. But you see today um, why she got voted horse of the year, three-year-old. Three -year so, yeah, she's um, flying, you know, dismissed. <laughs> I know it must have hurt not getting that victory, Holly, but hold your head high, mate. That was a, a courageous ride, a great effort, and you've done yourself proud. Oh, she's a great horse. She brings out this kind of stuff in you. Good on you, mate. Well done, Peter Hall. Now, William Pike uh, has... Uh Wait, incorrect weight is there. Weight has been declared and it might be time now to go down and catch up with the wizard. And what a day it's been once again for the irrepressible W Pike. He's been able to get this unbeaten filly home and uh, create a little piece of history this afternoon at Ascot. And he's now with Adam McGrath. Pikey, Hawley said he would have given absolutely anything to beat you in a photo finish. But as he said, we know you're the number one jockey and we just saw why again. Um, I think I was on the best horse today. Lightweight. Delicacy run at me so strong, I had no idea who'd won it. I'm just happy that my filly was able to hang on. We were watching you coming around the turn and you were just hanging off her. She had so much to give. She'd travelled up nicely. How confident were you at the top of the straight? Um, I don't normally get confident uh, and I was very confident then and maybe that's why Delicacy got so close. <laughs> but look, actually, I got there too early and too easy. She travelled around a bit. You know, oh no, she was just going so well. She wasn't over racing, but she was just going so well. I was trying to tuck in behind Blackwood for a bit longer. I wasn't really able to, and it just left me a tad vulnerable. And Delicacy's got that good finish, and I was lucky to hold her out. Mr. Bob Peters has had so many great animals. The Cerise and White, we've seen so many great. Delicacy is one of them last year. I know it's just after the race, but where do you rate Perfect Reflection after that performance? Right now, right near the top. <laughs> but no, look, she feels so nice. Uh, and just the way she lengthens, feels so effortless, uh, floats over the ground. She's got all those attributes, but, you know, next year we'll know how good she really is. I'm sure there's some people you'd like to thank. Everybody. No, but Mr Peters, my family, Jet and Aspen here, um, the, the Peters family, the whole, the whole stable, the whole setup, they just breed these beautiful horses and I'm the one lucky enough to be able to ride them today and yeah, it's just, yeah, it's very nice and the success that we get to have uh, and you know, last, you know, two sad days ago it was a terrible, you know, things didn't quite go well and uh, Mr Peters, he didn't, doesn't sort of get on my back, I'm sure he probably goes home and kicks the door but uh, <laughs> You know, he doesn't, doesn't give me too much grief or anything, and just next time it's what we'll try to do better. That patchy door will be covered up today, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, that's right. Thanks.